Hey everyone, Mike Sherry with Paul Sherry Used Cars. We took in on trade this absolutely beautiful 2020. This is a Land Rover Range Rover Velar. It is our dynamic trim level, all wheel drive, of course. Absolute stunning vehicle outside. It's in the Fuji white. It's a midline trim level. It's got the two liter turbocharged engine, 250 horsepower on it. Plenty of power, fun to drive, one owner, really low miles, uh, drivability, drives are absolutely stunning. Definitely a luxury SUV, and let's jump into the review here. So front windshield looks good. I always like to check that for cracks. I didn't notice any here. Got the Range Rover kind of details here on the hood, which I like. Badging up front here. Front hood looks good. Actually has a little bit of a splitter down there. Yeah, a splitter on an SUV, that front spoiler. Uh, on the lower bumper has parking sensors up front here as well uh, the wheels on this these are 20 inch wheels uh or sorry excuse me 21 inch wheels uh, wrapped in michelin tires four wheel disc analog braking system again this is the r dynamic trim level uh, really cool feature here so on the keyless entry you of course have lock and unlock you also oh i wanted to show you this so yes there's a little light button on here and then researching this, that actually turns on the front light. So if it's dark at night, you're trying to find your car, that lets you know, hey, that's my car, it's lit up. Also, maybe if you just wanna light up and you're in your driveway and you wanna light up in front of you, you can. I, I really like that feature and I have never seen that on any other automobile. Also, I want you to focus here on the mirrors and particularly the door handles. Let me give you a better, better uh, angle. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the vehicle. Notice the mirrors fold out, the door handles come out as well. And I'm going to go ahead and lock it and give you a little bit better angle. So that's super nice. You don't have to think about putting your mirrors in, particularly in that door handle thing. It's just super cool. Probably a, a pretty big safety feature on it as well. Now, you don't have to do that with the remote every time. You can also just push this button on any of the handles and they will pop out. Very clean. Does have the big panoramic sunroof up here. Goes over the back seats and the front seats. Eh, let's go ahead and show you the back seats here. See how that handle popped right out? Just pushing that button. I'll show you more of the inside here in just a second, but we'll at least look in the back. Very clean. You can see that uh, panoramic sunroof cut out. You've got your heat and air conditioning uh, vents back here, rubber matting down there. Look at the wood insert on the door trim, soft touch. Very classy. All right, let's come around to the back. Uh, in the back, we do have uh, some badging here. So you get your Velar badging, P2250, that's your horsepower. Uh, does have backup camera, backup sensors, rear tow hitch, and check this out, already got your wiring for your seven pin wiring. Now we'll go ahead and lift this up with the keyless entry. That's another function on that keyless entry. First thing I notice is how tall it opens up. Being six foot tall, I hate uh, the vehicles that don't open up tall enough for me to fit in. Also, the cargo space is very ample. Uh, a lot of cargo space without having to fold down that rear seat, which you surely can. I also like these little hooks here. Uh, if you got groceries, you can hook them to that. Uh, spare tires underneath here. And they use a nice wheel on it too, I notice. Um, not just a cheap steel wheel. All right, financing is available on this Land Rover. So if you are in need of that and would like to see what you qualify for, uh, we make it super easy. I'm just gonna post a link down that we created for you below. Uh, so if you feel compelled to, definitely fill out that information and we'll get back with you. Here's your R Dynamic logo. All right, let's check out the cockpit. So as we come in, got that same nice soft touch feel, nice, nice handle there, easy to, a grab hold of memory seats locks power windows power mirrors kind of the catch-all here in the door itself a uh, full power seat with power lumbar another r dynamic badging form-fitting rubber mats some nice premium leather seats all right we're gonna go ahead and start it's a push button start Fires right up, steering wheel comes into place, seat comes into place for driving. That's all part of that memory seat there. 
uh, has only 16,359 miles on it. Uh, no warning lights on on the dash. I do have just the park lights on because I'm not in gear. And then also the seatbelt lights on because I haven't put it on yet. And then that right there is a snowflake. It's cold this morning. So the camera's a little bit more shakier than normal. That's why. So that maybe I need to eat some breakfast. All right, so on the steering wheel here, we have your hands-free connectivity as well, some radio and volume controls here for that radio. Uh, cruise control does have lane assist, uh, heated steering wheel as well. Nice steering wheel. It's not just a, a round. It does have some nice grab spots here for your hands to rest. So uh, over here is your uh, infotainment center. Up top here, this is going to have uh, factory navigation. Also, it's got AM, FM, and Sirius radio. And lastly, it's got phone connectivity. Um, I did bring my phone along, and I'll show you here. This has Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. I'm just going to plug my phone in, and it should pop right up. We're doing Apple CarPlay. <clears throat> And this pops up Apple CarPlay, real-time navigation from my phone, podcast, voicemail, text messaging, all that right there. So that's super handy. And then down here is kind of your uh, heat and air conditioning control area. So it has dual zone. You have heated seats up here. Uh, you can control it very easily. It's all touch screen with a couple knobs, which I like having knobs. There is a radio knob here as well. Uh, so you just have some quick knobs. You have your max AC, max defrost, which I needed that this morning down there on assist and traction control. So all uh, uh, turn for the uh, turn dial for the uh, gearing, and then a little beverage holder, another beverage holder, and then the spot for your phone. Uh, center compartment here is a split, which I like that, and I'll tell you why in a second, but you've got two USBs and a normal 12 volt power, but the split I like because my arm is inevitably on this, my wife wants in it, so she can lift her arm up and get in it. So. That's a nice feature. Uh, it has that big panoramic sunroof. Let's go ahead and open this up for you. I'm just going to open up the shade here because it's a little chilly. So the shade goes all the way back and then the part that opens actually extends back into the passenger area. Generally on these panoramic sunroofs, it stops probably about right here. This one goes another foot longer, so that's a nice feature. Okay. Quite a fun vehicle, quite a ride. I know you can save thousands of dollars on this one just buying it a year, a year and a half old now. Uh, so if this is something you've been looking for and you want a luxury SUV, maybe spend a lot of time in, the, in your car and you just want something comfortable, uh, definitely take a look at this. Uh, give us a call before you come, make sure it's still available. These historically are hard to find and when we do tend to get them, they sell pretty quick. So thank you so much for watching everyone. We really appreciate uh, you hanging out with me today and uh, I do want to mention if you have a trade-in uh, we can make it easy for you in that uh, just uh, give us a call or fill out our trade-in form online and we'll be able to tell you what that is valued at and uh, tend to be taking a lot of trades in right now so I think we're putting uh, probably more money in than the rest of them are so thanks for watching everyone enjoy the rest of your day bye-bye